fibre, fibre, fibre. We're going to talk about all things fibre today. I think it's a good topic because it's one you hear a lot. Eat more fibre. Mm -hmm. We're here with Marcia, our dietitian. Hello, Marcia. Hi, Gia. And she's going to talk a little bit about fibre. So, Marcia, I see you've got quite a few things here, yeah. but can you talk a little bit about fibre and what it is and sure. what the benefits or the types of fibre yeah. so we can sort of get a, a, a grasp on it? Absolutely. Well, there's different kinds of fibre, but there's really only two that I'm going to talk about today. One's the group called soluble fibre and then we have insoluble fibre. Now, insoluble fibre is what we used to know as roughage. It's sort of the structural plant, part of the plant. And that's what your grandmother keeps saying, have some more roughage. Absolutely. So wheat bran, great example of it. Yep. Um, whole grain breads, um, you know, vegetables. I haven't got everything here that has it in it. Potatoes, nuts and seeds, they're all great for that. And they're really good at keeping constipation at bay. So they add weight and they add sort of softness to the yes, stores yes. and helps them pass quicker. That's yeah. awesome. Soluble, and that's what you need. Soluble fibre, on the other hand, is a bit different. It tends to be the fleshy part of the fruits. You also get it really well in oats and barley, oat bran, lentils, legumes, linseeds. And it tends to form like a gel-like substance which goes down into the colon and can be broken down by the bacteria to give beneficial products. Yeah. It's also great to get rid of cholesterol, keep those levels down. It actually down. just, you, it's like a broom, isn't Absolutely. it? It actually, the gel, it sort of cleans everything out. Yeah, and it's amazing. It feels so much better, not as bloated. Definitely. And the beauty is having a variety of plant foods, you tick both boxes. You don't sort of have to go out there and think, oh, I better get more insoluble or more soluble. Just having variety. Just a variety, yeah. Gives you both. Naturally. And you're going to show us some of that, aren't I you? I am, I am. So, so how much do I have to have? Yeah, well, in Australia, we should aim for about 25 to 30 grams, but the higher, the better. So okay. 40, 50, it's not unheard of. So 30 of. is your minimum, is, really? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Kids, you generally take their age and add about 5 to 10 to it. So a okay. five-year-old needs about 10 to 15 grams. Oh, that's a good tip. Yeah. yeah, okay. So my daughter's seven. So if I add five to that, she needs 12 grams. Yeah, at 12 least. to, to that's about the, seven. the minimum. Yeah, yeah the minimum, yeah, the perfect. minimum. So what can it look like? Well, yes. that's really easy. What do 30 easy. grams look like? Yeah. And what does seven grams, you know? Yep, absolutely. Just purely these foods at the back alone give you about 40 grams of fibre. So it's as easy as having over some... Over the whole day? Over the whole day, yep. That's over the awesome. Whole day. So it could be as easy as having some cereal, some toast, um, some having nuts. a small handful of nuts, sprinkling your cereal with some linseeds and maybe a piece of fresh fruit. We only get it from plant foods, um, not from, you know, you would never get it from milk or meat. Yep. So these are plant foods. Lunchtime would be having like a salad type sandwich. I love those sandwiches. Sure. Yep. And if you have everything pre pre prepped, so if you do your carrots on a Monday or Sunday yeah. and have everything prepped and chopped, you can make your salad sandwich so quickly. Easy, and easy. And then you've got it, you've got yep. your fibre. The salad leaves re already washed. It's all so good. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. Have a fresh apple with the skin on that adds more fibre too. Coming on to dinner, it could be a simple thing like a dal or a curry. That is smelling so good. I'm like, your dal smells so good. Yeah. Pack as many veggies as you can. So there could be carrots, there could be spinach, there could be cauliflower. And you've got your lentils in there. Lentils as well. And your rice, and your I can see. your brown see. rice. Your brown so rice. So that's sticking got... to browns and whole you know, foods, whole foods yep. is best. Absolutely. Add a few more veggies on. They actually could have been added into, into the dal. Into the dal, yes. Yeah. But I've just got them on the side That's so awesome. this is literally on its own 40 grams that's amazing you know? and it's so easy just your cereal in the morning your salad sandwich yep. and or a wrap you can or have a, a salad wrap, wrap or whatever yep. it might yep. look like and your whole grains at night like if you make a dull over yeah. the you know, on a sunday you, it'll last you three or four days definitely definitely that's great yeah. thank you so much for those tips fiber 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 <laughs> make sure you get more of it in your diet we'll see you next time with some more tips thank you marcia it's okay